Hey folks, Carl here, and welcome to episode 3 of this guest build for emodels.co.uk of ICM's Ford Model T Ambulance Early Edition. emodels.co.uk Make something awesome. Okay folks, so we are moving on to episode 3. Last episode, of course, we finished the engine block. We went into an awful lot of detail building this. So this episode, we are not going to be going into that much detail. So we are starting on the chassis. We've already taken off that first part. So that is here. So the plan with this episode is we are going to work through this build. Okay, off camera. So I'm not going to bore you with all the tedious cutting things off the sprue and gluing them together. All I'm going to be showing you okay on this build is anything that is not clear in the instructions um, anything that's awkward to do anything that's difficult anything that doesn't seem to quite fit right you know it's not clear in the instructions where it's supposed to be going I will stop the build turn on the camera and I'll show you what I'm talking about so I am looking for the next part so I shall talk to you when we have a problem. I'll speak to you in a moment. Okay, folks, so as you can see, we are moving on with the build. We managed to get this first part done here, which is part six, this bit. That's all nice and glued together. We started gluing together some of these parts here. You can see they're all sitting. They should be dry by now, actually. And we've come to our first little awkward part, which is gluing this bit to this bit so if you look closely on here there's some little nubs just inside there okay that this just rests on it doesn't fit doesn't slot into anything it just literally rests on there like so now it's awkward to hold and put it into place so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to get a little pot or something okay and we're going to just rest this part on top okay make sure it's nice and steady and we're then going to put this on where it should be which is like so okay and we're going to make sure it's in the right position of where exactly we want it okay because it is quite flimsy this front part of this chassis i'm just going to try and Hold it in place to make sure it's fitting and looking right, which it is. Okay, it's, because it's top heavy, it's rocking that way slightly. So we're going to get some glue. Okay, make sure you are gluing it the right way around, which I'm sure we are. And we're just going to put a very small dab of glue on this side. Another small dab on this side. Okay, give that few moments to dry and we're going to hold on to the chassis on top of that pot and we're just going to very gently push this into place make sure it stays nice and straight and level and of how it should be because if we don't concentrate and get this part right when we come to build the rest of the chassis up here and put the engine covers on there's a good chance they're not going to fit correctly so take your time here make sure you get it right because it's going to be worthwhile in the long run, see, I just had to push that down because it wasn't seating quite right. So, I've got a pair of tweezers. It's easier to push things around with a pair of tweezers than your fingers, otherwise, you'll end up with fingerprints everywhere. Push it down, make sure it's in place, nice and straight, and then put it to one side and leave it be because if you're happy with it. Leave it alone, let it dry, because if you keep on messing with it, you're going to end up messing it up. So these parts should all be dry now. They should be ready to clean up. I may have already done some clean up on them. Okay, so you can see all these seams and stuff on these edges here. All need to be cleaned up. There's a good chance you're not going to see this once it's all built up, but I'm still going to clean it up. Yeah, and you see the nub is actually still on that part there. So we are going to clean them up, even though you're not going to see them very clearly. Okay. 
so that's this part here and then over on the other side we start putting the engine block in which we're not going to do straight away because obviously we want to paint this first as much as possible and we'll get all these parts in and fixed to the model we may need to attach the engine block in with a bit of uh, PVA or something like that that's easy to get off and clean up but we'll take a look at that when we get to it okay so same again anything else that I find that's awkward or difficult we'll start recording we'll start recording again and show you exactly what we're talking about so talk to you in a moment okay folks so we have been moving on and we have completed this first part so here we go and as you can see we have had to mount the engine unfortunately the reason being this part here this rear axle actually goes into the engine in order to mount all this properly and all these spars and all the rest of that stuff the engine had to go into the model so unfortunate but we have connected up the wiring there on the front of the engine be like on this side so that's looking not too bad as you can see one of those wires there is bo broken broken is broken that's done deliberately that's the reason why the uh, bonnet is going to be opened up as though they are trying to find out what's broken so that is that first stage all done next we are going to be starting work on the main chassis we've already built this chair up here which is there so that chair is already built up for the inside of that so we are going to continue and move on there was nothing difficult with everything that's gone on here by the way just so you know a little bit awkward but well not awkward fiddly not awkward getting these wires connected up and trying to get them to stay in the right place was a little bit fiddly but they went in okay not looking too bad so like i say we are now moving on to the main cabin so same as usual any problems any issues i will start recording and i'll show you what's going on so talk to you in a moment okay folks so you're back and it's showing us here in this part of the instructions to add this part b36 right here onto the engine block on that part in there if i get a pair of tweezers right inside there now i was going to put it on but then i thought i'd have a look through the instructions and see what's connecting to that and if we go a little bit further on to here okay it's showing that the steering wheel comes through the main chassis okay and it connects on the flat part of this piece on the underside here so we're not going to put this piece on until we come to put that steering wheel in and we're going to glue that flat part to the steering wheel and then we're going to place this part onto that part that's inside there otherwise we may find we're going to have problems getting it stuck down so I'm leaving that part alone for now and we're now just going to move on and start with the cabin so I shall talk to you all in a moment okay folks so as you can see we are moving on with the chassis we've got quite a few pieces out here and what we are doing now is we are adding wood effects to all the panels so you can see on this one on the floor of the cabin we've added some lines in there to give that wood looking effect we've also done it to the inside of this panel you can see that we don't need to do the bottom section because we're not going to see that we've also done that and we've just done this piece you can see these two panels are done and this third one isn't so i'm going to show you how to get this done and what i'm doing to get get it to that state once we've done that we've also got the outsides to do on all of these panels so i'll get this lot ready and i'll show you what we're doing 
Okay, folks, so what we're doing, we are taking something like this, which is one of the Tamiya blades from their saw. And what we're doing is all we're doing is just very simply running it across quite a lot and making lots and lots of score marks. And it's as simple as that. So if I show you on this panel here, we will bring the camera down so hopefully you can see what it is that we are doing and all effectively all we're doing is we're taking the blade and we just you don't need to be gentle you don't need to be neat and we're just running it across this plastic like so and plenty of score marks in there you don't need to keep straight lines street lines don't need to keep straight lines the rougher the better Keep on doing it so you've got plenty of little lines in there. You can go both ways, like so. Some deeper than others. Just keep on scoring. Like so. Keep on doing it. It's going to look rough to start with. Okay. Turn it around, go the other way. you get plenty of marks in there so it looks a bit like wood now as you can see there's lots of little bits of plastic that are hanging on that we're going to get rid of those in a moment a bit more down this bottom bit here okay, that will do us so you can see on there now and that looks quite rough. So what we're doing is we're getting something like this, a little sponge on the end. These are our makeup brushes, children's makeup brushes from, from the local supermarket. It's like a pound for a, a box full. We're just getting our extra thin. We're just going to soak the tip of this sponge in the extra thin just to get some on there. And then we are literally just going to brush this down. Did I get any on there? No, I didn't. There we go. Now we've got some, and we're literally just going to brush this over the top. Careful you don't get your fingers in it. And all we're doing is we're smoothing off all that plastic, like so. And then it's just a matter of a leave it be to dry because if you touch this now, it's going to turn into a right state. So we'll get that lid back on there. We'll give this a few minutes to dry, and we'll take a look at that third panel that we've just done and it's going to turn out uh, something like this difficult to see because obviously the the extra thins made it shiny so we'll give that five minutes to dry and we'll be back emodels.co.uk make something awesome okay folks so this is now dry and we can see that wood effect now all we're going to need to do so we're going to need to finish this panel and we've got to do the outsides of all these panels and this one and we'll do the outside of that panel and then we can get this all put together now i'm thinking that i may very well build this up this part separate so i can spray the inside and we can show off as much of this wood effect as possible so I'll probably make it so the, the, the top can be taken off and removed so you can have take a peek on the inside. We shall see how difficult it is, but so far there's been nothing overtly difficult. So I'm going to get on off camera, get all this wood effect done, get it all put together, and we'll see how we're getting on. So talk to you shortly. Okay, folks, so as you can see, we have the back section of this ambulance completed. As you know, we were not going to attach this back box because we were going to paint it separately and do a whole heap of detail on the inside. However, with putting this wood effect on these side panels here, it did warp slightly. Okay, so we've had to attach it onto the front and the back panels. Okay, just to stop it from warping too much. Thankfully, once now we've got it all glued in place, we put the lid on. 
it actually pulls it all back into shape. So not too bad. And as you can see, once the, the lid is on, you're not going to see too much detail in the back of there. Anyway, we are still going to paint on the inside of there. Okay. But like I say, you're not going to see too much of it once it's together. So as you can see, we are starting to look like the box art. If we put this onto here, you can see we are starting to take shape. The wheels aren't glued in place, they're just placed on there at the moment. Okay, just to have a look to see what it is looking like. So we are starting to look like the box art, which is always nice stage in the build to get to. So this video has been going on for around about 25 minutes, so I'm going to end this video here. We still have plenty to do in the next episode. We've got the cab to build, we've got the rest of the engine block to do, and then of course there's all the, the small detail to add to the rest of the ambulance. So I'm going to say thank you to eModels. Thank you for all of you out there watching. Um, as always, be good, be safe, and of course, keep making models. And don't forget, emodels.co.uk for all your modeling needs. We shall see you in the next episode. Ta ta. emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome.